Hello and welcome to the Qubat tutorial focusing on graphical user interface. Qubat is a MATLAB plugin that allows you to perform quick heat transfer simulations, especially useful in battery applications. In this tutorial, we will simulate the operation of an example battery pack, and the model for the simulation will be prepared with our latest graphical user interface. Let's start by opening Qubat's GUI with a command w equals wizard.wizardgui. On the left side, you can navigate between tabs with different model preparation steps. If at any moment you would like to save the current model or load another one, you can do it in the upper left corner. The first step of model preparation is to load a mesh by specifying the file path and clicking Import Mesh button. Because prepared mesh is coarse, I recommend going into Advanced Settings and changing the default splitter angle value to 60 degrees, which will improve surface detection during mesh import. We have prepared the mesh for a generic battery pack consisting of 16 rectangular cells, casings, connectors and bus bars, which can be previewed by clicking the Display Mesh button. Assembly parts can be hidden by right-clicking at them and choosing Hide Surface Mesh option. Next step is to specify models, prototypes and components. The software's user interface is developed in a prototype-based convention which means that at first the user needs to create a prototype of each unique body in the geometry. Prototypes are virtual entities that hold information about mesh, material properties and other important data. They need to be added to the simulation domain as components, which are a physical representation of each occurrence of the prototype. You can manually choose the bodies to be converted to prototypes by clicking Pick Prototypes Interactively button. Let's create a prototype of the cell by right-clicking onto the correct object, choosing Select Mesh as Prototype option and closing the pop-up window to confirm the operation. If there are more occurrences of the same part in the geometry, you can go to the Components tab, choose Target Prototype and click Pick Components Interactively button to assign other bodies to the prototype of your choice. You can see that the prototype and its corresponding component have been created. Prototypes or components can be renamed to your liking by clicking Rename button, giving it a new name and confirming. At any point you can delete them by simply choosing a name and clicking Delete button. All components can be freely rotated and translated in the domain. First, I will show you how to translate the components. Go to Components Transformation tab, choose the component that you want to move from the list, then input the distance and click Apply Translation button. We can rotate the components by changing the transformation operation in the drop down menu. Let's choose the component and specify rotation angle and axis. Then choose the rotation point. If you want the component to rotate about coordinate system origin, then choose about origin option. If you want the component to stay in the same place, choose about bounding box center. You can preview created prototypes and components by choosing them from the list and using the display button. You can click a single component, hold Ctrl key and choose multiple components, or hold Shift key and click your first and last component to batch select.
Another way of creating prototypes is by choosing name of the mesh body from the drop-down list and clicking Add as Prototype button next to it. You can add the components in the same way in the Components tab. Cubat can also identify prototypes and components automatically. Let's apply this option to the rest of the unassigned bodies by clicking Identify Prototypes Automatically button. As you can see, the software has quickly created prototypes and components for the rest of the geometry. If your geometry contains multiple identical bodies, but they have a different orientation or their mesh differs significantly, then automatic identification might produce a couple of prototypes for different occurrences of the same body instead of one. This is perfectly fine. However, I will show you how to keep your model clean and reduce the number of prototypes in such a case. Find prototypes that you want to remove, delete them, then go to the Components tab and manually add them to the correct prototype. Your components will be moved back to the default position, so you need to use translation and rotation to move them back to the desired location. Next stage of model preparation is to specify all physical properties of the prototypes. In Cubat there are three kinds of prototypes, heat components, cells and cooling plates. Heat component is a basic prototype that is transferring heat by the means of diffusion, following Fourier's law of thermal conduction. Material properties of the heat component are defined in an Excel spreadsheet. Properties can be constant scalars or can be given as a table of variables depending on the temperature. To set properties of the component, click Select Material Data, choose Spreadsheet File and click OK. Heat component can be represented as 2D mesh, in which case we need to check Shell property and specify intended thickness of the element. If a geometrically similar component with different physical properties is needed, for example made out of different material, a second prototype needs to be created. If you want your prototype to be able to establish contacts between cylindrical surfaces or to have anisotropic material properties described in the cylindrical coordinate system, then you need to check the cylindrical box and specify the cylinder radius, axis and center point. Cells are similar to heat components, except they are generating heat depending on specified electrical properties and current profile. Material properties of the cells are defined in the same way as heat components, but additionally we need to specify electrical properties, which can depend on the temperature and cell's state of charge. Cells can be modeled as simple resistors or as a resistor capacitor circuit. For this example, I'm using RC model in order to capture the instantaneous capacitive effects. Cooling plate is a solid body with a pipe inside where the coolant flows. The volume of the coolant is modeled as a void in the geometry. The cooling fluid is modeled as a one-dimensional fluid flow and heat is transferred between the fluid and cooling pipe by the means of forced convection where the heat transfer coefficient is calculated based on empirical formulas. When defining the material properties for the cooling plate, two different Excel spreadsheets are needed, one describing the properties of the cooling plate and the other for the coolant. Additionally, we need to specify inlet, outlet and walls of the pipe.
If your pipe has many branches, then you will need to either try to detect intersections automatically or do it manually using interactive window. Choose manually option and continue to set properties to the remaining prototypes. If you have filled all the prototypes data, click translate to Qubit model. At this point, the computational model is generated based on the user input. This is also the moment when you need to manually add cooling pipe intersections. Click Add and a new window will pop up showing your cooling pipe geometry and a ball with coordinate system directions. To detect the intersection, you need to place the ball in the way that it is completely covering an intersection. You can move the ball using navigation buttons where you can adjust step size by the slider or you can type in the desired coordinates directly into the box. You can also click the ball and move it using the mouse. Once you have moved the ball to the correct position, exit the window to confirm. You need to repeat this action for each intersection and end the whole operation by clicking Done. Once the model is translated, we can go to the next model preparation step, which is grouping components into assemblies. Choose components that you want to connect together, type in the name and click Create Assembly in order to group. If you want not only to group the components, but also to create contacts between them, then additionally check Create All Contacts box and provide contact parameters. You can preview created contacts by choosing assembly name from the list and clicking Display Contacts Regions button. I have applied the same rules and created the rest of the assemblies off-screen. Notice that an assembly can contain other assemblies, allowing nesting and building assembly trees of the whole structure. We can also go to the Electrical Assemblies tab in order to create electrical connections between the cells. Type in desired circuit name and connection type that you want to establish. The model consists of 16 cells that are supposed to be grouped into four parallel branches, each with four cells connected in series. Click Assign cells and create a circuit. A new window will pop up where you will need to mark cells connected in series for each branch. Confirm your choice by right-clicking and choosing the Select Highlighted option. The last model preparation step is to apply boundary conditions. The first boundary condition type that we want to set is the constant temperature at the top wall of the casing cover. Check the value box and click the display prototype button and right click the surface that you want to apply the boundary condition to. The surface ID will show which you need to specify in the next step. Exit the pop-up window Choose Surface ID from the list and write down the temperature value that you want to apply. Confirm by clicking the Add BC button. At any moment you can change or delete the boundary condition using the Update BC and the Delete BC buttons. Now we will apply boundary conditions to the side walls of the casing. Once again, check the Surface IDs of the desired walls. We will apply the adiabatic wall condition by setting heat flux to zero at two walls and the convective heat transfer condition by setting heat transfer coefficient and ambient temperature at the other two walls. Because our model contains a cooling plate, we need to additionally specify the boundary conditions for the coolant. Click the Coolant tab 
and choose the cooling plate from the list. First, we will set the coolant in a temperature to 25 degrees Celsius. We will follow by setting the coolant mass flow to 0.02 kg per second. Once the boundary conditions are applied, the model pre-processing is finished and we can save the model. Now we need to switch back to the script in order to continue the simulation setup. First, we need to load the model that we have prepared. Then we need to set the current profile for the simulation and apply initial conditions. The current profile will be constant charging with 100 amperes. All the components will have an initial temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. All cells will have an initial state of charge of 30% and coolant flow will initially have a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and mass flow of 0.02 kg per second. I will apply those conditions by executing the following block of the script. Now it is time to prepare our model for simulation. Qubat is based on the reduced order modeling approach and requires additional step of model assemblation and reduction that allows to perform simulations substantially faster. If you have access to MATLAB's parallel toolbox, you can uncomment the first line of code and additionally decrease simulation time by allowing parallel compute. The model preparation step took around 25 minutes. You can save the already prepared model to reuse it later with a different current profile, ambient temperature and more. Finally, we can run our model. We will simulate half an hour of battery pack operation with a time step of 10 seconds. In my case, the model round took only 2 minutes. We can track temperature change of components as trend plots or 3D temperature fields. The full 3-dimensional temperature field can be exported to the CGNS file to be examined in other post-processing software such as Paraview. If you will have any questions regarding Qubat or would like to request a full version trial, please contact us at qubat at quickersim.com. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.